welcome to this new tutorial series. In this series we're going to be going over how to create a model in Blender, a character model, uh, how to UV texture and animate it or uh, get it ready for animation and bring it into UE4 and uh, Unity. So uh, we basically we'll be following these steps. We will be setting up our project with specific scaling and settings so it'll work well in the other engines. We'll modify the body of the character, we'll UV unwrap it, we'll texture it, and we'll rig the character and we'll fix some of the issues that uh, come up. We'll uh, create morph targets, which are like blend shapes, also called blender. Those are uh, like how you can make the face deform without bones, or you can kind of deform stuff on a vertex basis. Uh, we'll create animation with bones, and we'll create the morph target animation for the face. And we'll export that as one single animation, the UE4 and Unity. And then we'll also export those as two separate animations, one for morph target, one for bone import them into Unity UE4 and recombine them in the engine and uh, that'll be the trick. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, by the way, it might be good uh, before we get into Blender or anything, I'm going to show you the folder structure I have set up that will make this uh, a little easier for you to follow. So what we have here is just uh, I have a folder on my desktop and uh, well you can just uh, do it like this. You'll have modeling, UV, texturing, rigging, animation combined, morph and bone, animation morph, animation bone, uh, you can put your project files in this folder for your games later on. Uh, extra content, that's just are going to be extra scripts and things like that. And export tests will be uh, when we're exporting files. Just so you have an idea of like, you know, what kind of folder structure you'll be working with, you can work right off that. So go ahead and uh, now we'll continue with the rest of it. It's going to move this over here and let's start up Blender. So we've got Blender here, 2.77a. Uh, uh, so what you can do is, if uh, you want to follow along and want to get everything pretty much guaranteed to work, you probably want these versions of the software. So as I've written here, I think it's actually A. Uh, you want to have 2.77A, 2.77, uh, or just 2.77A for Blender. Uh, these are the ones that are required for this to work. I think it will also work with B, but I'm not 100% sure. So you need 2.77 for Blender. 5.3.6 and 4.2.5. These two it might work with with different numbers, but for the Blender one, I think it has to be 2.77 A or maybe B, but 2.77. Just so you're aware and just so you're on the up and up. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So I just open up Blender. There's just a blank new scene here. And the uh, first thing we want to do is we want to set up the scene so that it's uh, ready to go to work with UE4 and uh, Unity. So go ahead and grab everything in the scene by hitting A on your keyboard. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to turn on my keycast, screencast keys. That way you can see the buttons I press down at the bottom left. I'm going to hit A and select everything, then hit X and delete. So we want nothing in our scene. Then I'm going to hit Shift C, and it's going to center it on the view there. Now I'm assuming you have some basic knowledge of Blender, like how to do some basic modeling and working with views and things like that. If uh, you're kind of struggling with those, I would recommend watching a couple of videos. Uh, to get kind of a basic sense and then come back. But we'll go over everything with pretty pretty good detail. Just a heads up. Okay, so now what we want to do is set up the scales right. Uh, UE4 uses centimeters and the metric system. And uh, Blender units will be mapped to one Blender unit to one uh, centimeter. So that's, not, that's, that's how we want it to be set up. Right now it's not correct for that. And otherwise things will be exported extremely small if we don't do this next step. So to set it up uh, so it's right all the time, just go over here to uh, this little panel here, and you want this tab right here, Scene. Click on Units and set it to Metric, and then under Scale, put it to 0 0.01. One thing to be aware of is if your view is getting clipped off, like you can't see the edge of this grid, go ahead and just hit N on the keyboard, and bring up Display, or actually, I'm sorry, go down to View, and set your uh, clip to 500 meters. See, if you make this too small, it cuts off almost all of it, or in your case it might be less, and you want to be able to see the full view. So go ahead and set that to 500 meters. That way you can see the full view. And that's really all you need. So now every time you model stuff, if you use this as a reference, that's kind of the size that you want things to be. This will be, I guess, like a, I guess this will be like a one meter cube. That's about approximately how big that is. And that's about the right scale. But to really get a good sense of the scale, we can we can do some other stuff. So right now this is pretty much set up. You can leave this as the default settings. And just one other thing you might want to adjust. If you go over to I believe it's this tab. Yep, this is the uh, render tab. 
you want to go under the frame rate here and set this to uh, 30 frames per second. That's a good working point. I've seen uh, UE4 guys actually use 30 frames per second. So that's just another little detail to add there. We'll go ahead and go to File, and we'll do uh, Save Startup File. Okay, great. So we've got our uh, startup file set as this. So if we do the File, New, and Reload the Startup File, anytime we'll have the settings all set up right here. So now you might be saying, how do we get the scale right for the character? So in UE4, there's some default assets that have kind of chairs and things. How do we get a character that's going to like look right in the engine and is kind of the right size? Um, basically, what we can do is we can add in a uh, armature uh, that comes through the Rigify add-on. Rigify is a tool that allows you to add in like a whole skeleton at once, and we can scale that up to 100 times its normal size, and that'll give us a really good reference of what size character to work with. So to get Rigify to be able to do that, we need to do a couple things. Normally we just do Shift A and we go to Armature and Single Bone. We want to actually have an option here to add a whole skeleton. So we need to enable an add-on that. So go to File, go to User Preferences, Add-ons, and then type in here Rig, and you'll see Rigging Rigify. That's the one you want. So click that on, and then hit Save User Settings and quit out of it. Now if we hit Shift A on the keyboard, for some reason that's turned off my keycast. I'll try to keep that on for you. Hit Shift A, go to Armature, and then we can do Human Meta Rig. And it looks like nothing's happening except for maybe this dot in the middle. But what you see, if you hit the period key on your keyboard, is there is a skeleton in here. And this is the normal size it's created at, and you can see why it would be far too small to normally import into the uh, UE4 engine. And it'll give you errors about bone sizes and things like that. Although it might come in looking the right size, it, the bones will, will have issues with being this size. So we need to scale it up 100 times to be the correct size. Based on what I've worked out, that's about the correct size. So we can just uh, scale it up like this. You hit S on the keyboard and scale it up, right? That doesn't work well because it will uh, work with these values, sorry, these values here, and it will actually make the scale larger. This always needs to remain uh, a scale value of 1. And we can't just apply the scale. Somehow the bones get messed up. So we need to actually scale these up in edit mode. That way it always keeps a value of 1 here. So let's go ahead and hit Tab, hit A to select everything, and then hit 1 to go into front view. Now hit S on the keyboard, and then type in, well actually if you, if you hit S, just look down here. You see how that number there goes up and down? We want to be able to type in a 100. But watch what happens when I do uh, normal scaling. See like this? It gets all messed up. We don't want it like that. Go down to here, go to 3D cursor, and uh, then hit Shift C, and now it'll scale from this point for all the bones. And now we can just do S and then type 100. And it has the exact right size that we want for our model. Perfect. So now we've got a basic setup here. Let's go ahead and just save this. So I'll go to File, Save As. And I'll go to Basic Model here. Actually, we'll go to the Desktop, sorry. Go to Desktop, Modeling. And we'll just name this, uh, oops, let's just name it Model. Uh, model 01 that blend and we hit save as blender file and then control shift s plus in the keyboard once again now we have a backup of uh, the file we can work with so this is what we need to start with and uh, it's just a basic setup intro uh, video so now we've got this done next video we're going to start doing some modeling so uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you'd like to subscribe feel free to to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next one